Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Zudesia! Oh, man, it's been such an adventure. I'm so sorry that I haven't been around the last few days. Lots and lots of things have been going on behind the scenes as we get ready for the 200th, 200th, 200th episode. Isn't that just so exciting? I cannot believe that we've been doing this, that we've been together for over 200 days. Just look, look at how much our world has grown. We're standing in the Geishla Terrace, and behind us is the Tree of Illumination, and in front of us is the beautiful Village of Light with a fantastic new addition that we're going to see today. Yay, I can't wait to show you. It's going to be so exciting. And we've got Miz. We've got Cap and Cappers with us now. We have a giant zoo that we're working on. We've got our wonderful little Zoodestia that's growing absolutely beautifully. Oh, the reptile house is fantastic. We have reptile keepers. We have villagers. We have workers. The village of light is flourishing with economy and new villagers. And this is just fantastic. I'm so happy. Oh, this is great. All right. So today, I have something very special to show you guys. I was thinking for the 200th episode, it would be really fun if we could fly on a chocobo. If we could finally get a flying mount and a chocobo, no less, because we have been keeping our chocobos in our barnyard for a long time. They have been successfully breeding and or cloning themselves in the case of Cotton and Cotton Jr. No clue why they do that. But it's been pretty fun watching them, and I love birds. You guys may know I love birds since I have my little finches, and I just, I love chickens. I really love chickens. I don't even know why. They're just so adorable. I love chickens. So, I figured, let's breed flying chocobo. Let's breed a flying chocobo. Let's do it. All right, and plus we have the chocobo stables now, and that's where our chocobo get to hang out. So I'm going to show you the chocobo stables and the chocobo keepers who are now there who take care of our chocobo stables and take care of everyone in it. Oh, that's so exciting. So there's custom NPCs out the yin-yang. I can't wait to show you. All right. Now, let's carefully, let's carefully walk down so I don't smish my little Geishla greens. I have been harvesting these like mad because it's very important that you use the right kind of Geishlas when you're trying to breed your chocobo. If you want them to breed, then you have to feed them like some of the Loverly or the Golden Geishlas. And so far, I've got lots of Loverly, but they only raise the chance of having a mutated uh, chocobo and mutated in a good way, like getting a new color. Uh, just very slightly, if at all. And then the Golden Geishla raises it 50% that you might get the color that you're going after, a new color. And here, here by the way, right outside the edge of Village of Light right here, are our Chocobo Stables! Ta-da! Look at them! You can see the beautiful tower right there. And over here are the little stables. Here is the Stable Yard Keeper. This is the leader of the stable yard, Julia. Julia, how are you doing today? Let's see. If you are in need of a chocobo to ride, check the registry in the stables to see if there's a book of available birds for sale. Oh yes, 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 this is the stables. It's very pretty. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. That nice bleached white stone, which is absolutely gorgeous and seems to be the foundational block of the pillar, or, well, foundational pillar block of the Village of Light for building. I really love it. I love these little lamps. I love the way we were able to make the roof curved and that it's awesome and blue. It's just this same rock with some blue dye, which you can do thanks to carpenter's blocks, which is amazing. These are all actually my chocobo! Look at how many we have! I moved everybody from the barnyard over here, including a couple untamed chocobos that I had brought on for new breeding stock. Oh, hey, Tide! How are you doing, Tide? Yeah, oh, just so you guys know. Julia is actually from user Flavia Canaros, I think uh, is how you would pronounce the name. But Flavia, this is you! This is Julia! She has been added here to our beautiful chocobo stables. She kind of helps maintain uh, the order and tidiness around the yard, keeps the books and records uh, organized and everything like that. And in case you guys were wondering, oh, come on, get your fluffy butt out of my face. Fluffy butt out of my face. Thank you very much. And in case you guys were wondering, their outfits actually come from Final Fantasy XIV. Because Chocobo are a Final Fantasy game animal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. <gasps> Look at your little rainbow feathers and your little fluffy tail. I just... Oh, oh. Amy. Blossom, Blossom, come here. I've got a great new joke to tell you. And there's Amy and Michi Blossom, who are also the other Chocobo keeper, uh, ch keepers. Yeah, Chocobo keepers here. Basically, oh, hey, Tide! Tide really loves to climb up there. I really need to uh, to fix this, actually, so that Chocobo doesn't escape. Hmm, let's see, do I have any... Oh, I do, I have, well, I have oak. Do I have any other... Uh, more oak leaves. I don't think these are oak leaves, though. These are birch leaves, aren't they? Oh, 
Nope. Well, that works. Good. So now Chocobo can't try to escape out there. That's very important. But yes, yeah, so I couldn't decide on just one person because so many people wanted to be chocobo keepers and they loved birds. So I let the random generator pick four people this time. So I'm very happy. Again, our little village has grown. And Julia is pretty awesome, uh, as I mentioned. And she will sell you... Oh, actually, yeah, she'll sell you a chocobo saddle and a chocobo saddle bag. And I also need to set it up so that she'll sell you a chocopedia because the chocopedia is the book that you can read if you need to learn something about the chocobo. It tells you all about like how to breed them, uh, what the greens do, the pickles, let's see. Geishla greens and sugar can be crafted into raw geishla pickles, which can be cooked in a furnace to receive geishla pickles. These treats are not only tasty, but very nourishing. And then, yeah, how to domesticate them, and then the offspring, the breeding program is what we're working on right now because we want to try to get a fancy golden chocobo those golden chocobo fly and can you imagine being able to take to the skies land on top of the tree of illumination and i have a feeling if we are able to fly then we'll do a lot more exploring with a lot less plant collecting which means we might get somewhere and by the way you guys may have noticed this one this is birch i thought you guys were with me when uh, he was born actually he's cotton jr and daisy's uh, child believe it or not uh, no leaf leaf and cotton jr excuse me because you're from a green and a uh, wait, a green and a yellow? I don't even remember how I got you. But Birch, you're adorable. Also, feathers. Feathers everywhere. But that's okay. See, look, feathers. Feathers absolutely everywhere. But let me finish introducing you to the NPCs if Tide will ever come down. Eventually, Tide will come down. Just, eh. Tide likes to take Tide's time. But Tide? Tide is actually Ruby Song. Ruby Song, thank you very much for suggesting Tide. I think I got it. Ah, there we go. Ruby Song, welcome! You are here as Tide, just as you requested. Blue hair. Tide uh, ended up being a little bit shy. Tide likes to hang out inside of the stables, and she's really good at taking care of the baby chocobo. That's her favorite thing to do. She hangs out in the stables, keeps it clean and tidy, is pretty shy, and takes care of the new little chocobo chicks that show up. That's her favorite thing. And she's pretty cool because she's in charge of keeping the stable clean. You can come to her and sell her wheat or hay bales. And if you find any cobwebs in the stable, she will pay you well to collect them for her. Because she'll get in trouble if there's too many cobwebs. Also, she will give you some geishla pickles if you give her gold coin. And speaking of gold coins, we have a coin purse! I went and I bought a new coin purse from uh, Riz inside the employment center right there. Look at how much! I mean, isn't that just great? You get so proud when you can just like stand and look at all the different builds that are starting to show up and look at my tree because that's where my house is and ah, oh, this is fantastic. I can't wait for the zoo to get a little, oh see, and then there's a tiger and behind the tiger you can see the reptile house. I can't wait for the zoo to get its footing just a little bit more this way because this is fantastic. But yeah, my coin purse is named coin purse and it can only hold gold coins. Well, and emerald, and, you know, the diamond, but basically, no plants, only coins. That is my rule. My, my rule that I must stick to. But yeah, Tide's really cool. Uh, a little bit shy, like I said. Are you here to deliver the hay? I've got the coins if you have it. Thank you. So she's, she's the shyest out of everyone here. But yeah, I let the random generator pick four people, because this was such a highly requested job. And I just, oh, I'm trying so hard, guys. I know some of you may not have gotten it this time, but don't worry. There's going to be jobs in the future. If you like birds, don't forget we are going to be building some aviaries. Are you taking a dust bath? Is that what you're doing? Is that what you're doing, silly boy, girl, even? When there's no rainbow feathers on the back of their head, that means that it's a girl. It's a silly girl taking a dust bath, being silly. All right. And then let me finish introducing you. Mitchie Blossom. After Mitchie Blossom, how are you? How are you doing? Hello! Brown hair, brown eyes, just as requested, wearing the awesome little chocobo uniform. I love it, because see, these two little marks right here are supposed to be chocobo chicks coming out of the eggs. And this is Amy! Hello, Amy! From Amy Steven. And Amy is really cool, because she has a little headdress made out of chocobo feathers on top of her head. So those are actually chocobo feathers. But Amy is the reason that Mitchie and Julia are wearing flower 
flower crowns because these two like to kind of play around in the flowers over here while they're watching the chocobo and believe it or not those flower crowns serve a beneficial purpose because whenever the chocobo want a snack they can just pluck one off of their little crown and hold it out and give it to the chocobo's little snack so it's like it's really cute they they just take care of the chocobo that way but Mitchie's really sweet our chocobo are so sweet, but if any give you trouble, let me know. I'll help them to remember to behave. She kind of makes sure- Oh, you're taking a dust bath too, Cotton Jr. She makes sure that the chocobo stay and behave and they don't escape. The This is a good sized space. There's getting to be so many chocobo. I feel like I should have maybe expanded it a little bit. But this is a good sized space for all of them. We can always expand it if we need to. And I had like all these decorative custom bushes all over the border. But unfortunately, that was just enough to let the chocobo escape. So I had to take down this side of the custom bush. There's still custom bush on the other side. Really beautiful. Again, thank you to the people who suggested that I try to get into a building. Oh, Julia. Let's see. Are all the chocobo from the... Are all these... Are these all the chocobo from the stables? I need to make sure everyone is getting exercise today. See? Julia. Reliable. Taking care of the chocobo stables. Very good. Also, I just remembered I need to put up some sort of lighting system around here, maybe. Hmm. Or maybe a guard. Maybe we can have a guard patrolling the outer edge. All right. And then Amy. After Amy Stevens. Very, very nice. Very friendly. Pretty pink hair. And she absolutely adores chocobo feathers. She will sell you, uh, or she'll give you, uh, nice gold coins if you have chocobo feathers. Perhaps we should have a picnic for the chocobo soon. I'm sure the ants would be grateful for any crumbs. Mitchy, that's adorable. All right. But yeah, Amy will also buy Geishla cake from you. Because uh, she really loves Geishla cake. I don't know who loves Geishla cake more. The chocobo or me. Geishal, Geishl, Geishl. I've probably been saying it wrong, but that's okay. You know, local dialects and all that. But yeah, so she will actually give you gold in trade for these feathers, which really, other than making arrows, the feathers don't have a purpose and they drop all the time. So it's nice to see that we've got, uh, we've got something we can do. Oh, what you doing? What you doing? Blitz, okay. I'm going to have you drop the gear, please. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. Cause you know, you don't, you don't need to have to wear that gear all the time. See, he's taking a bath. So Blitz is one of mine and you can tell because of the, um, do do do. Well, you can tell he's tamed because of the red band around his neck. That's a little ribbon to let everyone know that he's a tamed chocobo. And you can find out the owner by right-clicking with the chocopedia, and it says right there. But if I ever need to, I can change the owner by adding someone in and give my chocobo to a new person, like Kaffir or Kaffirs, or anyone else who happens to come on. So that's well, that's part of the fun for me is that we can be like, okay, you guys, so we're gonna trade chocobos, and it gives the money like a reason for being there. Or you know, if anyone had a rare sapling, I I trade I trade in saplings. I can barter in saplings. If you have a nice a uh, nice plant, nice rare sapling. Oh, what's up, my birdie boos? I love hanging out with these guys, and I love that they've got so much more space now that they're not cooped up in the barnyard anymore. Also, look, their little runs! They've got these little runs! So they can jump around and zoom zoom! But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Inside the stables is really nice. We've got some hay on the floor here. We've got some little chocobo rooms. Nice, fresh, wonderful hay. Everything's nice and clean. See how tidy it is? No cobwebs. All the, the tools are ordered. You've got this nice little setup in here. Chocobo whistles and geishless seeds, leads, buckets, chocobo pack bags, wheat, lots and lots of fresh hay. Basically everything chocobo need, because Tide, you take care of this, don't you, Tide? Um, if you happen to notice any cobwebs or things like that, could you let me know? Julia wants the place kept very clean, so it would really help me out. Of course, Tide, of course. All right, and then, yep fresh water and all the water barrels. You really can't ask for better treatment of your chocobo. And eventually I'm going to put another chest in here, maybe right there, that will have a little book so that you can say such and such a chocobo is owned by so and so or such and such a chocobo is available for adoption. And you can buy those little books from Riz. I love it. See how everything slowly starts to come together when you build a world. Oh, it's so fun. I can't wait for you guys to be able to like play in a download or visit or something or something. We'll figure it out. All right, but the big mission and the reason that we're here is to try to get a golden chocobo. And now that our little Birch, that's his name, my white boy chocobo here right now. His name is Birch. So let's see if he can breed yet. And he can! That's so exciting. All right, 
So we're going to refresh just really fast. Now, Birch is a white chocobo. That's very new. I haven't had one. He's my only white chocobo. I was so excited when he was born. White chocobos have combined abilities to climb like the green chocobos and travel fast on water like the blue. In addition, they are slightly faster than the blue or green varieties. So that's the white chocobo. And next up is we're trying to aim for the black chocobos. Black chocobos have the abilities to jump very high, climb and travel fast on water. They are also faster than the white ones. All right, so what we need next, let's see is to get the gold we need a black and a white chocobo and so we need to breed birch with a yellow chocobo to get a black chocobo and we're going to use these golden geishlas because those raise our chance of getting the mutation that we're going for quite high looks like a buttercup and birch are getting along that's adorable i have no problem with this here you go guys here you go oh, oh, oh. <gasps> baby chocobo it's a little white baby though, so that's not the one that we were aiming for. Dang it, guys. Well, you're an adorable family anyway. Hello, little one. Hello, you're so pretty. You're so pretty, yeah. Let me get a little chocobo cash the green. There you go, there you go. Oh, there, now you're tamed. Oh, look at your adorable little ribbon. Oh, that's so cute. Congratulations, you two. Congratulations. Oh, so adorable. But now, after you've read chocobo, one of the drawbacks is that they do go into a cooldown period. So now Birch and Buttercup cannot breed again, but we will try to, like for a while, it'll take about 20 minutes or so. So we will try to wait that out and then we'll try again because we're so close. We just need one black and one white chocobo and then voila, we've got babies, we've got a golden baby. Well, that might take a few times, but then we'll have a golden baby. And we're running low on the golden geishlas and the golden geishla is essential if you want a golden chocobo. So what I'm probably going to do while we wait for the cooldown period to be over is watch these Geishel greens and make sure that they grow because out of this whole field, look how big our terrace is right here. We've got Geishel greens coming out of our ears, but usually I only get one golden Geishel if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky. So I'm going to man the field. Hey, you weren't supposed to do that. I'm going to man the field and take care of those, and hopefully we'll get one. But before we go, I will show you some more of the stuff going on in the village. Hey, Dine! How you doing? I don't have anything I can sell you, but ooh, why don't we get, uh, why don't we get some pickles, just to try the pickles out. All right, let's see. Was it three? Three coins? I can't remember how many coins it was, so we'll just, we'll just do it this way. All right, Tide. Oh, just one coin. There we go. Hey, 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 hey. There. That's what I thought. Oh, um, hello, seriously. What was the rest of that? My name is Tide. I, um, clean the stables here and watch after the baby chocobo. Mm, yeah. See, very shy, very adorable. Alright, but, oh, as you can see, we have some developments. And you know what? I think roads are a very understated thing in Minecraft. You really, whoops. Well, and so is ground cover. Look at these beautiful leaves. Okay, focus, focus. Not plant, roads. But they really are so useful and they give the village such a nice touch to actually have like a nice looking road. This is just the one I started going with because I love, I love the way you've got with the stairs and the slab, you've got this awesome little indent and it just feels so cool to run along it. You're like, do 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 It's really weird the kind of things that can uh, bring you such pleasure and joy when you're doing these things. Very silly, very silly. But yeah, we've got some new new azaleas outside of the employment center because we've got oh hey there's Toby. Toby! How are you doing? How are things going? Yep, yep, roguish good looks as usual. I really should give you some uh some overlay curls. I think they'll look good on you. There we go. The employment center is doing great. Oh, and by the way, guys, yesterday was the last day for the these five jobs. So the village farmer, village leader, elephant keeper, rabbit educator, and cougar educator positions will be filled shortly. I'm very excited. As usual, just keep your eyes out. We have the 200th episode coming up. Boar, get out of my azaleas. Shoo, 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 shoo. No eating my azaleas. None of that now. You know, we could probably use these boars, it just occurred to me, as like, a, oh, what do you call them? You know, Timon and Pumbaa, uh, Pumbaa was a warthog. There we go. It took me a second. We could probably use you as a warthog. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. All right, but it's getting a little bit late. Oh, and hello. How are you doing? 
Doing good. Ooh, coal for like emeralds. I will take that. It's getting a little bit late, so I'm going to go find where I had Lily and Tate sit down somewhere around here. And then we will, oh, there they are. See, just like that. And then, come on guys, we're gonna go to the inn and take a nap. And in the morning, we're gonna try to breed the chocobo again. So I will see you guys then, bye-bye.